Hello Primary 2, how are you today? Today's lesson is going to talk about subtraction with regrouping. So, as we did before addition with regrouping, we are going to do today subtraction with regrouping, but in a different way. Okay, let's start. Let's remember first, what do you mean by ones? Let's remember the ones. Yes, there is the ones and tens one bar of 10 and one big bar of hundreds and the tens come from what yes one ten means 10 small ones so 10 small ones means one ten and the 10 tens means 100 okay now let's start solving this example if I have 53 minus 26, I want to use my place value chart. So let's put the numbers 53 in the place value chart. Let's put the ones first. I'm going to put how many ones? Three ones. And how many tens? Five tens. Now I want to subtract 26 from 53. I'm going to start by the ones. Three minus six. Can I take 6 from 3? No. What shall I do here? I'm going to go to the next room for the tens. And I'm going to take from it 1 10. And break this 1 10 into the 1's room by 10 ones. Okay? So here I have how many ones? I have 13 ones. What about the tens? Yes, the tens become 4 instead of 5. Now let's do normal subtraction. I'm going to sub subtract 13 minus 6. I'm going to do what? Yes, I'm going to cross away 6 from the 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the remaining here will be what? Or the difference will be what? Will be 7, right? What about the tens? I have 4 tens. I'm going to take away from it or cross away what? two tens one two so the difference is going to be two tens let's put the whole number it's 27 okay so easy just steps and if you do it well you are going to have the answer correct let's see the next one i have another example if i had 40 minus 17 and i'm going to subtract using regrouping okay so we have to use our place value chart start 40 i have to put zero in the ones and four in the tens okay the next number i have 17. can i take seven from the ones which is zero can i take seven from zero no so what shall i do i'm gonna take one bar of 10 from the tens place and i'm gonna break it into 10 ones in the ones room okay so now the ones become 10 and the tens become yes 3 so now i can do my normal subtraction 10 minus 7 i'm going to cross out 7 ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so my answer is 3 in the ones what about the tens Three tens. I'm going to take from it one ten. So it's going to be what? Three minus one equals two. So my answer is going to be 23. Okay? Let's move to another example. I want to subtract using the place value. Subtraction by place value. So here I have 546 minus 183 i have three places here i have ones tens and hundreds so moving to our place value chart starting from the ones how many ones do we have yes i have to put six ones and how many tens four tens how many hundreds five hundreds now let's start subtraction i am going to start from the ones i'm going to take away or cross three from the six one two three okay so the answer is three in the ones next i have to take 
8 from 4. Can I take 8 from 4? Of course not. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move to the next room, which is the 100, and break, take 100 and break it into how many tens? Yes, into 10 tens. Okay, so now I have how many tens? Yes, I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 in the tens, right? And what about the hundreds? The hundreds will become what? Yes, the hundreds will become 4 instead of 5, right? Let's continue subtraction. The tens here I have 14 minus 10. So let's cr cross out 8. Tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the remaining will be what? It will be six. Okay, in the tens. What about the hundreds? Four, I'm gonna take from it one. So I'm gonna cross one hundred. So the remaining will be what? Three. So the answer is going to be what? Three hundred and sixty-three okay okay let's move next subtraction by using the place value the same 451 minus 123 451 minus 123 so start using my place value chart yes put one in the ones five in the tens and four in the hundreds then I'm going to put the next number or the second number. I'm going to take 3 from 1. Can I take 3 from 1? Of course not. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to move to the tens place and take 1 to break it into 10 ones in the ones room. So here the ones room will have what? Yes, the ones room will become 11. And what about the tens? Yes, the tens will become 4 instead of, yes, it would become 4 instead of 5, right? Okay, let's now cross the numbers or take away the numbers. 11 minus 3, I'm going to cross out 3 ones. So it will become 8. And for the tens, I have 4 minus 2. I'm going to cross out 2. The answer is 2 in the tens. And what about the hundreds? 4 minus 1. I'm going to cross 1. So the answer is going to be 3 in the hundreds. Let's read together. The whole number is 328.